On a fine day in September 1859, British astronomer Richard Carrington was observing the sun. He observed a cluster of sunspots, so unusually large, that he started to draw a sketch. He also witnessed two kidney-shaped beams of light that grew in size. This is when a solar flare burst and vanished within five minutes. Not only was this the first observed solar flare, but was also going to be the biggest in our recorded history. Typically the charged particles from a solar storm take a few days to reach the Earth. This time, it took the storm less than 18 hours. The geomagnetic storm was so powerful that auroras were seen all across the globe. Even in the tropics and latitudes close to the equator. Reports of aurora sightings came from Cuba, Bahamas, Colombia and Hawaii. The light was so bright that it was possible to read fine print on a newspaper. It scared and surprised many people who had never witnessed the phenomenon. Some thought the glow to be a result of a big fire, others even mistook it for daylight. This was later named the Carrington Event and took place a few months before the solar maximum of Solar Cycle 10. It was what is known as a white light solar flare. The magnificent auroras of the Carrington event were accompanied by an outage of the telegraph system for several hours to days. A few operators suffered electric shocks and telegraph pylons threw sparks. Some telegraph offices reported receiving random messages and machines working without any connected batteries. Life in 1859 did not depend upon electricity and electronics. The biggest impact was the failure of the telegraph system. What will happen if a solar storm of this intensity hits us today? Let's find out, because such an event is highly likely to occur within our lifetime. Based on a paper by Japanese astrophysicist Hisoshi Hayakawa at Osaka University, such events occur every few decades. The sun is nearing the maximum of the solar cycle 25. Solar activity has been unusually high. Auroras have been visible at places where these are extremely rare. A few days ago, auroras were seen across the United Kingdom, as far as London. Strong geomagnetic storms are known to cause disruptions in satellite communication and outages in power grids. In 1989, a solar storm just one-third the intensity of the Carrington event caused the Quebec hydroelectric power to shut down. A similar event in 1972 caused several thousand magnetic-influenced sea mines to spontaneously explode off the coast of Vietnam. Solar storms are measured based on the disturbance they cause in our magnetic field. A unit called nanotesla is used for this measurement. The more the number in negative, the stronger the storm. The 1989 storm was minus 650 nanotesla whereas the Carrington event was a staggering minus 1,750 nanotesla. We had a near miss from such a storm, measuring minus 1,200 nanotesla in 2012. Solar storms cannot cause direct harm to life on Earth due to Earth's thick atmosphere and magnetic field. However, a storm the size of the Carrington event can make our daily lives seem like being in a post-apocalyptic world. It can cause electrical grids to undergo substantial damage, rendering cities across the globe without power for days, weeks, and even months. Electric trains and trams will come to a complete halt. Critical facilities like hospitals and defense installations will have to rely on backups that are not impacted by the electromagnetic surge. Astronauts will suffer harmful effects and satellites will be damaged beyond repair. This will not only impact communication, but also GPS and navigation systems that guide traffic on ground, sea, and air. Radios and communication between on-ground systems and aircrafts might be totally disrupted. Most internet connectivity, including subsea cable systems, will collapse. Cell phones will be rendered useless due to near-total network outages. Sensitive electronics can suffer permanent damage. Payment systems like net banking, cards, phone payments, and ATMs will not be accessible. 
even water supply, that depends upon electric pumps to supply water, will be disrupted. Life as we know of today, will be thrown out of gear, and into a total chaos. Losses from such an event, will run into trillions of dollars, and the economic impact will take several years, or even decades to recover from. Different space agencies, including NASA, are continuously monitoring the sun. There are systems in place to predict solar activity. We do not have the technology to guard us from the impact of such an event, but if there is enough forewarning, we might be able to brace for impact without an element of surprise.